first of all, just we haven't had a chance to talk really yet. Um, what have you been your impressions of, of joining the pro, great, pro game? Um, first impressions of Texas and Cedar Park? Um, I really like my, my time here. Uh, first time I, I came here since uh, I got draft. First experience over here. First experience in the pro. Uh, it's a lot different than in junior, but uh, I, I think uh, I did great. Um, for sure, it's uh, like I said, it's a lot different. The guys are bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, but uh, I find a way to to do uh, a bit of uh, good things. So uh, I'm pretty happy about uh, what I did. Do you feel like you were able to integrate quickly? I you were on the power play your first game, but uh, did, didn't have any points there. But how did you feel about integrating into the systems, joining what uh, Coach Graham had set up here? Uh, he... He really took took care uh, took care of me. Um, he did not show me too much about the system before my my first game because he just wanted me to play. So uh, it's uh, like I said, it's it's different to to come here and be in another system. Um, and I, I went off my quarantine on the Thursday morning, and I was playing on the Thursday night. So uh, it was a, a pretty busy week. Uh, because I, I was uh, eliminated uh, during the same week in junior. So um, it's a great experience that I had. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I really like it. Let's go to Matt DeFranks. Hey, Maverick. Uh, just curious, in the, the last two games of the season, it looked like you kind of settled into more of a group. Did you feel more comfortable uh, in those last two games in Iowa? Uh, yeah, way more comfortable. Um, uh, you know, uh, I'm a guy who like to find my confidence during practice. And uh, the, the day before the, the last two games, I had my, my first uh, first practice. So it helped me a lot to gain confidence and uh, know that, that I can play with those guys. So uh, after that, uh, during the last two games, uh, I w before that, I was watching my my first four game and I find that uh, with the puck, uh, I can do uh, more play and I have more more time and space that, that uh, during a game, like it goes so fast. So sometimes I, I don't think I have enough space, but in reality, I have more space that, that I thought. So uh, it helped me uh, a lot. Yeah, and what was the season like in general for you? I mean, players in Quebec probably had the longest seasons of any players in North America. Uh, what was the season like for you from start to finish? Uh, it, it was a, a weird, uh, weird season. Uh, I started playing in October 1st. Uh, I only played four games, and after that, the, the league shut down a little bit. So uh, I went at my uh, U20 camp. Uh, I really liked my experience out there. Uh, and after that, uh, after Christmas, uh, I played the 24 game with the showing again with all the playoffs. Um, it was a lot different than a normal season. We were playing like uh, six games in nine days. Uh, after that, we had we have like uh, two weeks off. So uh, it was a lot different. I learned a lot first year as a captain of my junior team. So um, and we lost in first round. So uh, I think I gained a lot of experience. I was getting better game after game. Uh, I was getting better better in my in my zone and in in the offensive zone. So. I think I, I progressed a lot this year, and uh, I'm ready to, to have a big summer. Let's go to Saad Youssef. Hey, Maverick. Uh, actually, my, my question builds off of your last answer pretty well. Um, what it, what does this summer look like for you? Obviously, you, it's been a couple of years since you've had a normal offseason. Um, what does this summer look like, and what how are you going to work out, and what kind of things are you going to look to work on? Um, for sure, I, I will. Uh, I will continue what, what I did in past the, the last two past summer. I think uh, what I do it's uh, it's, it's good. Uh, I'm a guy uh, working in uh, Quebec City with the uh, GP uh, Yopel. so uh, with a lot of uh, of speed and uh, and agility that uh, helped me to to getting more faster and more agile on the ice. And uh, for sure, I want to I want to get uh, more stronger. Uh, it's, it's a part of the game that I find that uh, I, mi I miss uh, I miss there because like the, like I said before the boys are way more stronger so um, I need I need to to gain more more pounds and be more stronger so it will help me me to uh, 
uh, be more strong on the puck. Let's go to Taylor. Hi, Maverick. Uh, can you kind of describe the difference in uh, speed and pacing from the Q to the AHL this season that you experienced? Um, honestly, I find that at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a game of hockey. Hockey doesn't change too much. Uh, but the, the thing that I, I find that changed the most is when, when I was going in the corner and, like, if I'm not heavy enough on the puck, I will just lose it. So I find that people or the boys are way more stronger. So I need, I need to, like, uh, find a way to to be more smart than those guys to, like, go go back from the corner with the puck. And uh, at the end, I think, I, d I did good because I, I'm a I'm a smart player, so it helps me. But for sure, I need to get more stronger to to win more battle, more face off, uh, and be be more dangerous in the offensive zone. Excellent, thank you, Pat. Yes, um, you know you were a captain this year and should win again. Uh, how did you like that experience? What did you learn from it? And um, What's that adjustment when you come to Texas and you're the new guy um, coming in? Um, it, it was my, my first time as a captain, so uh, I learned a lot, like, how to deal with the boys. You know, like, you, you need to, to be close from the boys, uh, have the, the feeling of the room. Uh, I was close to, to my head coach, too. So, um, and during a game, if no matter how, how goes my game as a captain, I need to to stay focused and have a good mindset and uh it it helped it really helps my attitude um i think I, I grew a lot on on this side of my game and to come here as a new guy um like in showing again sometime we had a new guy and uh as to come here as a new guy now i understand more what it's like as a junior to come on a team and be a new guy so uh, it will ask me to help help the new new guy next year and showing again. So, uh, and the boys over here welcome me pretty pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it was fun to to be a new guy. Thank you, Maverick. You scored uh, a lot of goals in the QMJHL. How do any of those compare to the first one you scored in the AHL? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot different. Uh, here the the goalie are way better. So. Uh, I finally find a way to, to score my first goal, but uh, I need I need to I know that I, I need to go more at the net. Uh, it was a great feeling, first pro goal, so I'm really happy that uh, I had the opportunity to to do it before the end of the season. 